So here's another article from community.katina.one from P squared. Thanks, user P squared. Appreciate it. I like this one. I didn't know this. Tesla, Block, and Blockstream are teaming up to mine Bitcoin. Blockstream and Jack Dorsey's Block, formerly Square, are breaking ground on the solar and battery-powered Bitcoin mine in Texas using solar and storage technology from Tesla. And Tesla's 3.8 megawatt solar PV array and 12 megawatt hour mega pack will power the facility. <laughs> Oh, two of the biggest hitters, guys, in cryptocurrency, Jack Dorsey and that Elon Musk are teaming up to mine that busy beat. Something's going to explode, guys. Something is going to explode. What's 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 Tesla's 3.8 megawatt solar PV array. No, let's go this. Uh, let's see. Blockstream's co-founder and CEO Adam Back, a British cryptographer and a member of this cypherpunk crew, told CNBC on the sidelines of Bitcoin 2022 conference in Miami that the mining facility is designed to be proof of concept for 100% renewable energy Bitcoin mining at scale. Quote, people like to debate about the different factors to do with Bitcoin mining. We figured let's just prove it. Have an open dashboard so people can play along. Maybe it can inform other players and participate, Back said. The dashboard will be publicly accessible and show real-time metrics of the project's performance, including power, output, and total Bitcoin mined. What a great idea. What an amazing idea of transparency. I love this idea. It sounds like something that I'm doing. I love it. Give people transparency to what's going on in the market, guys. The company said later, a later version of the dashboard will also include solar and storage performance data points. Quote, this is a step to proving our thesis that Bitcoin mining can fund zero emission powered infrastructure and built economic growth for the future, Back said. And when it comes to improving the economics of renewables, well, West Texas is a mecca of renewable energy in the United States. You really have this perfect overlap with both sun quality and wind speed in West Texas, said Sean Connell, executive vice president of a power at Houston-based tech company in Lanxium. But a lot of the wind and solar power is concentrated in remote, part, remote parts of the state. With no financial incentive, there's little reason to build out renewable infrastructure to harness the energy. Enter Bitcoin miners. When these energy buyers co-locate with renewables, it creates a financial incentive to build out and improve the core economics of renewable power production, which has been fraught with volatility. This is a huge point that they're, I'm, I'm reading ahead here in my, in, you know, I'm scanning ahead here and they're, guys, this, the value of this idea cannot be understated, guys. These power companies can use Bitcoin miners to reduce their OPEX, CAPEX, their risk exposure to finances and can leverage their excess energy and their excess power and all that stuff for doing good. Bitcoin mining is a good thing. This is a win. So actually, when it comes to renewable energy and Bitcoin mining, they actually feed each other. This is a win, guys. Miners provide demand to these semi-stranded assets and make renewables in Texas economically viable, according to Castle Island Venture Nix Carter. The constraint is that West Texas has roughly 34 gigawatts of power, 5 gigawatts of demand, and only 12 gigawatts of transmission. You can think of Bitcoin miners as temporary buyers who keep the energy assets operational until the grid is able to fully absorb them. Back said that the off-grid mine, expected to be completed later this year, highlights a key tenant of the Bitcoin network. Miners are location agnostic and can do it from anywhere without local infrastructure. That's awesome. I love that. Absolutely. Should the project prove profitable in its pilot stage, Back said the companies would add wind power to the mix and scale the entire project. You're making a sort of calculation of the optimal economic mix between solar and battery, Back said. There's 3.8 megawatts of solar. There's one megawatt of mining. So you can see you have two over provision because of the peak solar input varies during the day. And of course, it's not there during the night. Adding wind to the mix, however, would reduce overall costs and help to balance out the downtime with solar. Ultimately, Blockstream said a key goal is to strengthen the Bitcoin network by diversifying the cryptocurrency's energy sources. Quote, by collaborating on this full stack, 100% solar-powered Bitcoin mining projects with Blockstream, 
Using solar and storage technology from Tesla, we aim to further accelerate Bitcoin synergy with renewables, said Neil Jorgensen, global ESG head at Block and project lead for Block's Bitcoin Clean Energy Initiative. I'll give you uh, Peter Squared's 47 sats. He said, since the industry is not regulated, cartels, monopolies, antitrust laws don't apply. Capitalism at its finest. Well, Peter Squared, I couldn't agree more. Let the good times roll. If there are companies that want to leverage their excess power, if there are companies that want to get deeper into renewables, Bitcoin mining is the answer. And, I mean, it that just makes my podgies tingle. Like... I should go deeper into mining. Not that I'm, I mean, I'm already super deep anyway, but go deeper. Let me know in the comments, guys. What do you guys think? Should we go deeper? Should we go harder? Should we add some innuendo here? Or should you just smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and let me know what's up in your life? Because, you know, life is good. Life is great.